United Nations Industrial Development Organization has extensive and successful experience in industrial development cooperation around the world. Today, by the virtue of such initiative, we want to create a culture of developing a nexus between business community and investors in Pakistan. In other words, we would like to set the snowball rolling and we are confident that this snowball will become bigger and bigger and will encompass more multiple areas. And the ultimate aim is to set the tone, create success stories for the rest to follow. Um, I had a quote from a well-known academic come philosopher uh, which says, never doubt that a small group of thoughtful, committed people can change the world. Indeed, it's the only thing that ever has. So I, I really salute uh, the people coming here for making this happen, and I want to salute them by highlighting a few examples of innovation. Uh, one is a company called Victor Energy Finance, which was started by two university students who felt passionately about making clean energy accessible and affordable to 70 million people in Pakistan who are not on the electricity grid. Now obviously technology was the cornerstone to what they achieved in their innovation, building a real distribution network for clean energy. They envisioned entrepreneurs in tens of thousands of villages who are providing clean products into the community who can do really good things like credit scoring of a rural unbanked customer using their smartphone. You can bring someone into financial services, mobile money, internet access, and electricity through the distribution network. So you use access to clean energy as a way to spur development finance and, and other innovations. So many of them have excellent ideas. I, I run this program in 10 countries. I'm always amazed by the kind of innovation that we have in Pakistan. So in this program in Pakistan, we have made an attempt to reach out to female engineers, female innovators, because these are the innovators that are going to improve, help improve your bottom line. They have the idea, why not improve in them, why not invest in them, so that these, innovate, these uh, the ideas come to fruition. We need the private sector, everybody here, the investors, to take that quantum leap of faith to invest in these startups, because they are going to create a new and green jobs that are going to sustain and that are also going to sustain the economy of Pakistan but also help the economy of Pakistan to be competitive in the global world. I want to congratulate innovators who have been selected as semi-finalists and I wish them more success. Applause please. In the event of climate change will be one of the countries that will suffer the most. Many of us don't realize this, but uh, the great pressure on urban areas through rural urban migration is in many cases, they are, they are not uh, really going for better economic opportunity only, they are also climate refugees. Because uh, when their lands become less productive, they are forced to move from their traditional lands and they go into the cities. And so they are not just uh, migrants, economic migrants, they are also climate refugees. <laughs> It is important to note that Pakistan, being a signatory to a major number of international conventions, has to abide by the international rules, which means that clean technology-based products will not only be preferred, but soon they will become mandatory. Given the situation and the fact that we are all here to promote these young green ideas and convert these into businesses, I appreciate the participation of the innovators and the investors. I would encourage all the investors to not leave any idea behind and try to work on as many projects as possible which are financially feasible. <coughs> UNIDO has done a great work and I assure my fullest support and the support of the Ministry of Climate Change in continuing to fund such projects which promote the youth of our country towards developing entrepreneurs. Pakistan should be a world leader in this project in this area of uh, innovativeness. The Ministry of Climate Change is and will always be there to promote such programs. Thank you very much and have a great day. Your Excellencies, uh, 
uh, distinguished investors, innovators, uh, ladies and gentlemen, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Uh, let me initiate if Dr. Shahina can raise her vial from your seat. Please. <laughs> While looking at her, I don't need to comment on Global Green Tech Innovation Program because she has already introduced that to that and extent. Please, be seated. Congratulations, my dear countrymen and women. You are initiating with clean tech innovation. So, inshallah, the future is very bright for us. Pakistan is among the 10 nations who are self sufficient in medicines. In all natural calamities, we have never requested the international community to send us medicines just because we have more than 750 pharmaceutical manufacturers in Pakistan. I belong to the steel industry. I would come straight to the point and uh, my main points to the innovators are is that if you're looking for your ideas to be implemented in the steel sector, uh, two major issues which we are facing right now and we are working on that. Firstly is energy, uh, about 60% of our conversion cost is energy based, i.e. being electricity, gas or furnace oil. Second issue which we have is environmental. So I can give you the, uh, you know, the foundation to grow your idea. So thank you very much. Thank you so much. Which would keep kids and families to 
arrange and go back and play with the nation. I've been from this industry traditionally. An amazing vision with the appropriate figures. So they are <coughs> supporting my amusement park project, which is a multi-million dollar project. Free at Shahbachim of Commerce Energy, not only to display, to take up these products and take it to the logical international local market. Thank you so much, you know, it was a pleasure to be here. This is as we can actually is in the model and already you are ahead of many of the other countries in terms of bringing investors together with us. So it's, a, it's, it's been a pleasure, it always is a pleasure working with all the entrepreneurs and now I'm beginning to meet some of the investors and so I hope that I will continue to work with you all. Thanks very much. Women in green industry very soon will see them as proper engineers working for the green technology in Pakistan. We trade them in the green industry and they have successfully completed their training. So we are offering them the certificates now.